Okay guys, so for the ingredients, it's super simple. There's only a few ingredients here. So first and foremost, you are going to need a saucepan and a whisk. Um, and then you're going to need, and I'll even give you the measurements, uh, you're gonna need a half cup of allulose. Now you're gonna wanna use allulose because allulose actually caramelizes nicely unlike uh, monk fruit, swerve, and all those other sweeteners. I mean, you can use that, but you're not gonna get that nice thickness unless you use allulose. I got mine from Amazon and this is my favorite brand. It's Anthony's Allulose, but you can use any allulose that you want. It's all gonna be the same. So um, I'm not sure if I said, but it is a half cup of allulose. And then you're going to need one fourth cup of butter and I use Kerrygold butter. It's the absolute best, um, best butter. Kerrygold, tastes so good. And then you're also going to need uh, two tablespoons of water or milk. I just like to use milk just to make mine um, a little bit creamier, I guess. And yes, your girl uses lactate. <laughs> and then you're also going to need a half cup of heavy cream. So I use this one right here. I just realized that I never showed you the uh, allulose up close. So this is it, the allulose sweetener. So, and the last ingredient, oh, two more ingredients. We're gonna need a pinch of salt. You can use any salt. I use pink Himalayan salt right there. And then lastly, you're going to need vanilla extract. So, focus. Half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, by the way. All right, so let's get started. First thing we're going to do is add our two ounces of butter here to melt. And you don't wanna have your heat up too high because you don't want the butter to burn, obviously. So I'm just going to melt that down just a bit. It melts down pretty easy. Let me see if that camera angle is good. It's good. Okay. So go ahead and melt that down. And then while we melt that down, we're gonna slowly add in our allulose that we talked about earlier. So go ahead and place that in there just like that. And it will liquefy right back up, by the way, guys. So don't worry too much because it's that thick. Keep stirring, keep stirring. Hey guys, can you see how beautiful and golden that's getting? And it's frothing up, so you wanna whisk real quick. Real, real quick, guys. So I have my heat on the lowest setting, and this is where that two tablespoons of milk or water comes in, guys. So two tablespoons of milk or water being added in right now. And then you want to whisk real fast, because this stuff's gonna bubble up like crazy. So this is also where we're gonna add that half teaspoon of vanilla. And just keep stirring on the lowest heat. Guys, I wish you could smell this right now. It smells like candy. It smells amazing. Okay, so now is the fun part. This is where we slowly add in our heavy cream and we're gonna whisk as we do it. Just to keep it from boiling over. Add your dash of salt. So I think it's finally ready. After whisking for about 10 whole minutes, we finally have that color that we want and that thick consistency that we want as well. So I'm gonna get ready to pour this into a jar. We're gonna pour this gorgeous caramel into a bowl right here. Absolutely perfect. The consistency is everything. I'm back to show you the final product. Look at that. And I'm telling you, it tastes much better than regular caramel. Like Ghirardelli's, Tarani's has nothing on this consistency right here. So guys, I do thank you so much for watching. This is actually my first uh, recipe video on YouTube and I really, really hope that you guys can give me some support. I've been wanting to do this for a really long time now, but I've always been like a little bit camera shy when it comes to stuff like this. So I really hope you can subscribe and support me um, and stay tuned for my next video because I'm actually gonna be making my coffee, my morning coffee with this, which I still haven't had yet, by the way, so I don't know how I'm functioning, but we're gonna be using this. So we're gonna put it to the test there. So watch my next video and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you and have a wonderful day, guys.